the faucet that I ordered, which is like touch to turn on and off, which I have no idea how that freaking works. Electrical? Is there an electrical component? Oh, oh my gosh. I was like, am I missing something? I hope not. Okay, so this is the electrical component. Oh, I think the part that sits on the sink. This is like what senses it. And then the red goes to here. Wow, I love that they color coded everything. <laughs> so it is some kind of sensor and it's not like, is it battery operated? Do you plug it in? Oh, you have to put a battery in it? What? That's so lame. What? Okay, I might have to tell my client about that. She has a problem with that. Hi, I just got done with an electrical job, which was to put up a chandelier or replace, not a chandelier, a ceiling light with another modern looking ceiling light. Really pretty both fixtures. Um, but anyway, that's not the point. Actually, that's probably what you're more interested about. But and I could hear her speaking with another female. So I was like, in my head the whole time, I was like, okay, how should I t like network myself with this person that also does task? I mean, I didn't know at the time, but turns out she's also a task rabbit. As I was leaving, I would like quickly talk to her. I was like, oh, you're at um, task rabbit as well. And she's like, yes. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I never ever meet female taskers. Um, here's my card. Like you can text me, like we can share like knowledge or if you have any At the next lights, turn left. Um, like feel free to text me like it would be so cool to like meet for coffee or something and just like share our insights there's something I've been playing a very dangerous game but doesn't that look amazing this is the only angle that I have so you can't see w exactly where I am but I have a little bit of time before my um second job today earlier today I had a plumbing job I haven't had a plumbing job in a little bit but I had one today at 10.30, which was to install a Brondel um, bidet seat. Not like a bidet attachment like the Tushy has, but it's like you get a seat as well. So that was really easy. Um, it's been a while since I've done bidets, so I was being extra careful and reading the instructions and everything. So that took me about 30 minutes. I have a 2 o'clock job that, I, that hired me directly, but... I met through TaskRabbit. Oh, and that girl and I that I met yesterday, we texted like really, really long texts back and forth. I'm gonna give her some of my old tools that's been sitting around like my Dewalt stud finder. And then um, I offered to teach her anything that I know. Um, I think she does like organizing and furniture assembly. Um, but I was like, hey, you know what? If you wanna learn some electrical, plumbing, like I'd love to share the knowledge, share the wealth. I, I said we're, we should meet for coffee with our tools after thanksgiving so yeah i'm excited i haven't made a new friend like in my 30s in a really long time so i'm kind of nervous but hi it's my dinner date happy thanksgiving everyone Oh, man. 
leaves on the ground. Happy Thanksgiving! It's November 25th, 2021, year after the pandemic. I hope you all have a good Thanksgiving. And if you are like some of my friends that are working, um, I hope you don't work too hard, but thank you for also not making me feel bad for not doing anything but working today. Just sat for an hour at the park. How beautiful. But this is the lagoon that I came to and I saw at the benches. This old man came from his house behind the lagoon and said he dedicated the bench that I was sitting on to his late wife and he gave me a cool beer. Park editing. Ditto is enjoying the sun. She's just been sitting there and she walks so slow. I just need to tie her on my water bottle. So I mentioned this a couple days ago, but I'm moving into a smaller apartment um, in preparation for something in the future, but I'm gonna not talk about it in the video just in case. But um, I was looking through my old bookcase downstairs, it's like falling apart. I've had for almost 10 years now. Um, and I found all these planners. Like I am such a planner person where anyway. I wrote down like how I feel now, which was I felt unfulfilled, not co content, annoyed, irritated. Like I felt like my job was super redundant. I wasn't learning anything anymore. And then in the I want section, what I want for the future, I said, to be a one woman business and sometimes take sugar with me on job sites. <laughs> to set my own schedule, work every other day or more if I'm excited about finishing a project. To be creative and create in a digital space while still create in the physical world via handy woman work. I am so glad I found this and read through this because I am doing almost all of these things except for investing in other small businesses. But that's my like, next step you know yeah. but i wanted to show you this part which is the formula i do want to remember because it will be very useful compounded interest is a which is the amount at the number of years which is um signified by t so the so p is the principal amount how much you initially invested times um one plus r which is one plus the interest rate to the T power and how many years um, you want to predict it for. Got my booster. I didn't feel anything. I was really late though. So I still have two hours till my one o'clock. And I. Hello think there. I just finished my Home Depot orientation. Um, that is that. <laughs> I just picked up McDonald's, but I forgot to tell you. Yesterday, I ended up working a two and a half hour job. I thought it was gonna be short and quick. I got my booster shot at 11.11, right? And I took a Motrin, I think, at like 12.45ish. And I still had no pain or anything before I took it, but I just wanted to make sure it, while I'm doing the job, I wasn't experiencing any discomfort. Last night's sleep was so uncomfortable. I felt feverish, super achy all over my body. And I woke up this morning and I felt like I got, I felt like I got hit by a bus. Like my whole body was so sore. <sighs> Man, this virus is insane. So I'm on my break right now at Home Depot and today is my first official day. So far it's been really cool. I've learned a lot um, and this is like one of the busiest Home Depots here in California. So there are a lot more employees to, I don't even know, like 
I haven't even been bothering to introduce myself every time I see someone new. I would just say hi because there's so many of them. There's no way I'm going to remember. But the department that I'm in, the people that I've been working with, they seem super, super nice and super helpful. Especially since I don't know anything about flooring, like carpets and vinyl and laminate. But I learned the difference between laminate and vinyl uh, flooring today. But I do want to say one thing. I got in the parking lot this morning at around 8 a.m. and I was dressed in business casual, but I think I'm wearing a little too businessy. Went to go home and change, but as I was walking in this morning, this like I didn't even look around, but the guy was like whistling at me. It was so annoying, and I wanted to like give him the middle finger, but I realized I work here, <sighs> so I can't. Hello, this is going to be the last clip of this video. I promise. Well, my first few days at Home Depot were pretty good. And I had my first day on Sunday, which was like on the floor. And man, it is so busy. Like people, it's just like, as soon as you make eye contact with somebody, they need help. <laughs> so that was kind of overwhelming because I didn't know where anything was. Like I had a general idea, but I didn't have an idea of like what number aisle certain things were. I wish they had a list so I don't have to keep looking it up on my phone. I will be continuing to work um, just three days a week and I've already gotten my schedule. I can still work my business just fine. So yeah, I'm really excited for what's to come. It's a lot. It's a lot of stuff and I really hope I don't burn out, but I'm going in there with a positive outlook and positive mindset and I'm just going to take it one day at a time. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video.